my fellow gamers, welcome, welcome back to the game, and welcome back to your Kirsten Like a Dragon. Last time, we found out that we're gonna get invaded soon. What is this? Of course he calls. Oh shit. What's up? Uh, this picture. What about it? The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Ryo Aoki, the governor. That's back when he was younger. And considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? He's supposed to be dead. Huh? Wait. In Kamrocho. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki. Not Aoki. I know him as. Confused. Okay, hold up. Sir, during next week's budget deliberations, the opposition party is going to fight you tooth and nail. <laughs> Those fossils pushing for highway funding. It sounds like they're strongly against the infrastructure cuts. I imagine it's going to be a long fight. But you do have an appearance scheduled for that evening. Should I cancel it or maybe try to reschedule? I have an appearance? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the one for that newspaper? They invited a bunch of kids to that, I thought. Yes, sir. Let's not cancel it, then. Wouldn't it look bad? I'm sure those parents have spared no expense making sure their children look presentable for an occasion like this, right? I'm sure, but... It'll be fine. I'm gonna run circles around those windbags and we'll have deliberations wrapped up in no time. We can't disappoint the children, can we? Understood, sir. We'll hold the appearance as scheduled. You know what? Why don't you call it a night? Good night, then. It's Ogasawara. Good news, I hope. I finally found it. The party chair's secret weapon. Turns out it was on the other side of the Great Wall of Muscle this whole time. Hmm. <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well staffed in Tokyo. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. literally saved. Uh, this game sometimes. Chapter 9. Yes, I know it's ready to turn in. Screw you. Alright, anytime now. Any time at all. House of Cards. Let's see. 
This probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then, he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly. But now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga's saying, though. There's a lot of stuff that'd make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah? Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. The 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. Huh? Makes sense. You think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, it would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. Well, he was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. <sighs> The guy was really young master, so how did he do it? One thing I don't get. How did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background so he could be governor. The public would never accept the politician with Yakuza roots. Ichiban. 
Who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on. Hold the hell on. Oh, well, he doesn't need wheelchair anymore? Oh. He did use that stuff, though. What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used the wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinoji. Oh, no. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. When? Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? Was that the uh, brothel? Yeah. So plain, I'm sorry. Same oh, right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah. Horino Uchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn, Kamroch is looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Well, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. He's got a point. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. You don't even need to head back. Huh? Hey, barkeep. Remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. What? <laughs> nice. Thanks. What room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. Right, they're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was, uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? That's convenient. Uh, yeah, it is great, but you sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah, whatever. Room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides, I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. Well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. No, not again. Wow, dude. Thanks! We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink! <laughs> hey, if you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn. Rex. Okay, so we have a new hideout, which is convenient for our hideout. Wait. What? Okay. So, now, what? I should go see how the town's doing with the Omi Alliance invasion. You know what, while we're here, I want to do bonds for the rest of this episode, because I don't think, I need to get those up, because I know the two of them are maxed. And they're trying to exist.
Right. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for letting me know. What's up, Sachan? Looking kind of down there. Oh, Ichiban. Something happened on the phone? Just uh, more Nanoha drama. I'm starting to get all too clear a picture of that jerk she's dating. Oh, yeah. Katsuragawa, right? The consulting guy, or whatever. The girls from the club looked into him. They saw him with Nanoha on a date. Look at this picture they took. And that's Nanoha and Katsuragawa? Yeah. Doesn't he look shady as hell? What is she thinking? Hey, I get what you're saying, but you can't judge someone just from the way they look. Okay, take a look at this picture then. See the guy in the background with the sunglasses? His name's Yamashita, and he's like the bodyguard in Katsuragawa's creepy little posse. Bringing a bodyguard on a date? Yeah, that's definitely out of the ordinary. You think? And to make matters worse, the girls told me the conversation he had with Nanoha. It was 100% bad news. I'm sure Katsuragawa has it in for her. What do you mean? What did your girls hear? Katsuragawa's consulting firm isn't doing so hot right now, so he wants to borrow money from Nanoha. How much? Two million. He decided a date was a good time to ask for a huge loan? <laughs> I think even I've got more game than this guy. But anyway, Nanoha said no, right? I mean, she needs that money to support her dad. Actually, when my dad switched facilities, Nanoha found out she had a little more spending money. Apparently, she's already lent him 500,000, and now he's asking for 2 million more! Seriously? Good. Even if Nanoa has that much to spare, she should be saving it for her future. And Katsuragawa knows that. But somehow, he found out Nanoha used to work at Otohime Land. He did? So he asked her to go back and start making bank again. What? And this is the guy who didn't even bother to help her when she was in trouble. In fact, I think he basically stopped calling her right after Dad started to need round-the-clock care. But now that that's dealt with, and Katsuragawa knows about Nanoha's stint at the Soapland, he's trying to schmooze his way back in. I mean, Nanoha's not an idiot. She can always just change the subject whenever he asks for money, can't she? Don't you remember how she wanted to go out with him way back when I first said no? She was head over heels for him back then. I don't know how she feels now, but... It sounded like she held off on saying yes or no, but I'm afraid she might actually go back to the Soapland. You think so? Damn, this guy's a piece of work. If he really does roll with a biker gang, it must be as the shit stuck on their tires. What other kind of guy would be pushing his girlfriend to work at a Soapland? To cover for his failures! So you're having the exact same thoughts as me. Nice to know I'm not crazy. Crazy? Sajon. Even if he wasn't such a bastard, Nanoha could still do better. We gotta get him away from her, before she gets scammed and hung out to dry. But Nanoha never listens to me. She's not about to start now. Oh, I want in. Well, if she won't listen to you, maybe she'll listen to me. What? You? Why not? We both used to work at Otohime Land, so it's not like we're complete strangers. But yeah, just leave it to me. She and Katsuragawa are history. Wait a second. If you go meet up with her, don't you think she's gonna wonder how you know about Katsuragawa? I'll just say Saiko told me. No, you can't tell her that you and I know each other. Huh? Think about it from Nanoha's perspective. She'll say to herself, if Saiko knows about this, then she must know about the Soapland. Don't you see? Hmm. <sighs> Guess you have a point there. My bad. Oops. It's okay. I can tell how much you care about this, and I really appreciate it. I don't know what good it will do, but I'll give her a call. It never hurts to try. All right. Good luck. Sorry to make you listen to all my family drama, Ichiban. It's no problem. I care about Nanoha, too. She's my ex-co-worker, after all. Still, thanks. No way is this over. Wonder what'll happen. 
<laughs> Look at me. I'm just as nosy as Sachan. Yeah. Well, that at least get real her bond level. And no, we're not gonna do Eerie's next level because I don't want to do more business management right now. Yay! Nothing else special? Come on! Alright, dodgy turn. Oh, look at him! A dodgy son? What's up with the suit? Oh, don't you remember? We're doing that out of court settlement. Oh, yeah. Takashi kun scraped that guy's bumper. And he demanded Takashi kun pay him a million yen, so you decided to meet with the guy. Hoping it's just a damn con man. Wearing a suit to the settlement, huh? You really care about this kid, Adachi san. Well, there's one more reason I was thinking I should look sharp today. You know how I sent a letter to Takashi asking for the contact info of the car owner? Takashi wrote back and said he wanted to be there when I meet the guy. Guess he finally wants to see his daddy long legs in person. <laughs> After 20 years of being sent money and all. You know, that whole time I came up with excuses to never meet Takashi. I, I just sent him letters. So Takashi kun's gonna meet Yamada san for the first time today? Yeah. I figured the least I could do is look the way a big shot should. Except, even though it is a suit. It's pretty plain for a rich guy, ain't it? Oh, give me a break, man. This is all I had. Anyway, I explained what's gonna go down here to the staff, so we're good on that front. Only thing left for me to ask is if, uh, you're willing to stay and back me up, Kasuga. Why me? Well, a real daddy long legs would have a lackey with him, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. Come on, don't make me deal with this asshole and the kid all by myself. Please, man. Fine. But when you interviewed Takashi 20 years ago, it was in person, right? What if he remembers your face? He was five years old at the time. No way he would remember me. Especially now that I probably look like his damn grandpa. Here's hoping. Excuse me, is Yamada-san here? What? Are, are, are you Takashi? Yes, I am. Wow. Look at you, all grown up. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 it's just, <laughs> I still imagine you the way I did when we first started writing each other 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm Yamada. We finally meet Yamada-san. Thank you so much for supporting me all this time. Oh, I just enjoy lending a hand, promising kids like you. That's, <laughs> that's what a philanthropist does. So why are we meeting here? What is this place? Oh, it's a, a, a bar I run as a hobby. I'm a... <clears throat> I'm a big jazz guy. So you're also a patron of the arts. Amazing. <laughs> and who are you? Uh, I'm the secretary. Oh, uh, I'm I'm Yamada-sama's secretary. You have a secretary too? You're even more loaded than I thought. Oh yeah, I always have my secretary come with me when I negotiate deals. He's a <laughs> he's a sharp cookie. Uh, how are you assuring? <sighs> now, Takashi-kun, where's the owner of this car you scraped? His name is Hasegawa-san. He should be here soon. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Asking me to come all the way out here to a dive like this? All I can say is you better have my money. There's a few things I'd like to ask you first, Hasegawa-san. Oh, you must be Daddy Long Legs. What do you want? Why are you demanding one million for a scratch bumper? Because this is no ordinary car. Oh, is that right? I don't know much about cars, but it looked pretty ordinary to me. <laughs> it may look like a typical sedan, but it's actually a top-of-the-line British luxury car. And now I have to send it back to England for repairs. Right. Mind telling us how the accident went down? Well, I was just sitting there, waiting for the signal, and this kid here, barely paying attention to what he's doing, of course, just pulls up right next to me on his bike. That's when his pedals scraped up against my bumper. Takashi-kun, does all of that sound right to you? I guess. I didn't feel like I hit anything. I mean, I felt the hem of my pants sliding along something, but... Ha! I wish it had been the hem of your pants! 
When I heard the scraping sound, I looked over just in time to see your pedal gouging the hell out of my paint job. Really? Well, that's funny. What is? If it was a regular sedan, all you'd be able to see from the driver's seat would be the hood. No way you'd see the bumper down below. Oh, in my car, you can see it. Steering wheel's on the left, you know. You obviously don't know much about foreign luxury cars. On the left, huh? That's even funnier. Didn't you say the car was from England? Yep. Did you know British and Japanese cars both have the wheel on the right? Uh, uh. You might want to come clean before you dig yourself a deeper hole. I say the mark on the bumper was already there, and the car is about as British as me. So what'll it be? Admit you were trying to pull a fast one and we'll let you go. But if you decide you want to keep bitching over nothing, then my secretary here will have to intervene. By the way, I'm not just Yamada-sama's secretary. I'm also his bodyguard. Ah, fuck! <laughs> so, it really was all a scam. And a shitty one at that. Wait, Yamada-san, did you know it was a scam from the start? Uh, more or less. One million ain't much to a guy like me, of course, but uh, us rich folks don't like our money going to criminals. We gotta do our part, you know? Wow, rich people are so cool. <laughs> that we are. So, how about that bar exam, Takashi? Think you'll pass this year? Well, actually, I found out I didn't. Oh, that's a shame. But you know, the average age of the people who do pass is 29. So I figure as long as I pass it by then, I'm good. <laughs> Isn't that, uh, four years from now? Yeah, and when I do become a lawyer, you'll be the first to know, Yamada-san. Ah, looking forward to it. Thanks. I have some studying to do today, so I'm gonna get going. Hang in there. Four more years of sending money. Oh, man, that's gonna be tough. Here's hoping it only takes four years. Wait, what do you mean? If he's getting caught up in a simple scam like this, how's he supposed to understand the finer points of law? Hey, now, don't be like that. No, he's just too honest, is all. And who knows, maybe he'll pass next year. I sure hope so. Well, either way, at least he bought my rich guy act. <laughs> yeah, well, we can thank my little performance for that. Your performance? I was the one with the starring role. If there... You know what? For it. Whatever, man. Let's just celebrate the fact that we pulled it off. That's correct. Yeah. With the cheapest drinks money can buy. Yeah. All right, Dachi is now level four. Awesome. That's what we wanted to hear. Here's the host job. Woo. Are we ever gonna get more party members? That's the real question. Everybody's ready to go. So what we're gonna do is next time when y'all like a dragon. Oh Jesus. System here. We are going to advance to see what's going on about the Omi Alliance. I'll see you then.